Our Northwestern is an exclusive space where our vibrant community of alumni, students, and faculty can come together. As a member, you'll be able to find friends and share memories with classmates, make professional and social connections with the NU network, and engage in interesting discussions on Northwestern topics and beyond. We're going to cover eight topics today. Logging in, editing your profile, uploading a profile photo, viewing upcoming events, finding people through the directory and adding friends, joining groups, sharing an update, and visiting the Help Center for more information. First things first, you go to r.northwestern.edu at the top in the address bar. If you haven't logged in before, this will take you to the login screen. Click sign in. This is the login page. There are several different login methods to choose from, and you can pick whatever you're most comfortable with. You have LinkedIn, Facebook, Twitter, and Google+. You also have other options on the bottom. If you have a Gmail account, that will work in the Google Plus option. And if you have a Hotmail email account, that will work in the Outlook option. If you don't have a social media login, but you have a Northwestern email, you can do so here. If you don't have a Northwestern email, but you are an alum, you can contact the university for a free account by clicking here where it says click here. We do, however, recommend using a social media login because it's easier and it's one less password for you to remember. We take your privacy very seriously. Northwestern does not save your password and does not use, store, post, or provide information to social media sites such as LinkedIn and Facebook. This is the main welcome page of our Northwestern. We'll be coming here a lot and this is where you can start out and gain all the information that you would need and it will be able to direct you to any corner of our Northwestern. Let's start off with editing our profile. You can click on About Me up at the top or you can click on Edit Profile under Get Started. From this window, you can edit everything that you need to to showcase who you are in your profile, including name, interests and activities, your email address, social media addresses, professional experience, and tons of other additional info. Since you're already connected with Northwestern University, lots of this information will be filled in already from our directory of records, but you can always fine tune it. And if any of your information is out of date, this is the place where you go and change it. If you move or change your phone number, this is where you would come in order to take care of it. In the Privacy Settings tab, this is where you can completely customize your entire R Northwestern experience and who sees what. Say you only wanted your information to be shown within your community, with your friends, or only yourself. You can change that setting on these items here. Personal info, email and social media, address and phone, and subscription management. Now let's try uploading our profile photo. Click on About Me up at the top. From here on the left, you can click Change Photo and Avatar. As you can see, we already have a photo, and you can upload your own or add several to choose from by clicking Add Photo. From here, you can hit Choose File, select a file from your computer within one of your picture folders, hit OK, and then click Upload and Continue. For photos that aren't cropped specifically for our Northwestern, you can take care of that in the application itself. Once you highlight the area that you'd like to crop, you hit Crop Photo, hit Finish, then you have that photo to choose from. You can choose anything to upload as your profile photo, even if it doesn't specifically show your face. You can also select an avatar to the right. Your avatar is the thumbnail image the community will see alongside any content you create. And now we're going to go to Viewing Upcoming Events. Return to the welcome page by clicking on Our Northwestern at the top. All of the upcoming events can be found on the right-hand side of the page if you scroll down. From here, you can click any one of these upcoming events. From this page, you can tell the event planners whether you're coming or not, and what other alumni are going. If you'd like to register, once you click the button, you can click Yes or No or RSVP. If you need to RSVP for this event, it will direct you to a page where you can pay if the event is not free. Now we're going to cover finding people and adding friends. 
Go back to the welcome page by clicking R Northwestern at the top. Click on the People tab just below the banner. The simplest way to search for someone is using their name. If you'd like to add this person as a friend, you can do one of two things. You can highlight the gear in the lower right hand corner, click it, and then hit Add as Friend. Or, you can click the name, check out their profile, and hit Add as Friend at the top right. Let's go back to the search. From here, you can click Advanced if you'd like to get more specific. You can type in the information you know, or select an option from our convenient drop down menu. Type in the name and search. Now let's see how you can join a group. Go up to our Northwestern at the top and click to go back to the welcome page. From here, click on the Communities tab. You can find social groups based on interest, degree, and more using Find Groups. From here, you can type in whatever you're interested in and see what other alums share your interests and what groups have been started. You can check out your college or school space in Colleges and Schools panel up at the top. Within these groups and spaces, you can follow their activity by hitting the Follow button in the top right-hand corner of the page. Within these spaces, you'll be able to find alumni, post a class note, or start a discussion. Here's one way to post a class note. Type in your name and information and whatever message you'd like to say. You can select an announcement from the drop-down menu. You can even attach a photo if you'd like. Once you're done there, you click Publish Class Note. Another way to join a community is by going to the R Northwestern Welcome page and clicking Join Communities. You can find your class year here by clicking on Classes. From here you can find out all of your class news including any reunion information that you might need to know. This is where you can keep up to date and make sure that you're there on time to see all of your friends and classmates. Now let's go back to the main page and click R Northwestern in the banner. Every group that you're affiliated with is on the right hand side under My Places. Now I'm going to show you how to share an update. This is very simple. Wherever you are, just go ahead and click on R Northwestern to go to the main page. But since we're already there, we can stay here. If you'd like to talk about what's going on in your life or if you'd like to post any kind of update, you can click Share a Post in this dialog box and type in whatever you'd like. You can also hit the at symbol to link to a person, place, or piece of content on Northwestern. And once you're ready, you can hit post. After you've learned all of this, you can explore other areas of our Northwestern to get even more information than what I've shown you today. Up at the top, you can go to Communities, People, Alumni News, Getting Involved, Explore Opportunities for Professional Development, Finding Out More About Learning Opportunities, and Travel. Finally, we're going to cover visiting the Help Center for more information. From the Welcome Center, click on Help Center at the top of the page. From here, you can contact us by email or by phone for an individual question, or you can click on blog posts to see if you have a common problem that maybe has already been solved. You can also post a question directly to the space by clicking Ask a Question. Also, everything that's been addressed in this video can be further explained in a blog post located on this page. Today, we've covered logging in, editing your profile, uploading a profile photo, viewing upcoming events, finding people and friends, joining groups, sharing an update, and visiting the Help Center. I hope this video has made it easier for you to log into R Northwestern, and please stay in touch and keep up to date on all your R Northwestern and alumni needs.